Okay, um, so welcome to GBN Interviews. My name is Mike Vaughn, and we are talking about uh, Bring It On, Cheer or Die, and I am joined by director Karen Lamb and star Carrie Matters. Um, thank you so much for uh, being here with me. Um, uh, yeah, a fantastic movie. Uh, really enjoyed it. I actually just got done watching it a second time, so... Um, <laughs> It's so exciting. <laughs> yeah, I have to say it, it's it's kind of wild. Um, I, I was watching it's um you have some great like um behind the scenes footage. Um, which kind of brings me to my my first question is like how uh hard or intense was the uh training just to, to you know film all these amazing uh stunts? Okay, I guess I'll take this one away. Uh <laughs> Um, so first off, I don't have a cheer background. I didn't know about cheerleading. Um, but now I have a mad respect for cheerleaders. And I remember going into rehearsals and Tony Gonzalez, who choreographed all of our cheers. I was like, I haven't done cheer before. I can, I can try. I can look my best. And he's like, three weeks, you're going to be, you're going to be a pro. And I was like, okay. Um, so we did three weeks. We would wake up uh, and go to the bus at 7 a.m. We would leave at 5 p.m. And we would learn all of these stunts, all of these warm-ups, everything we needed to know about like particular things like hand positions and like how to stand. And it was very technical. And I remember by the end of the first week, I took a photo on my phone and I literally couldn't move from bed. And I had just like heating packs and all the creams to rub on my muscles because I literally was just frozen because it was like oh my gosh I have used every muscle in my body <laughs> so it was intense wow. <laughs> pretty much <laughs> yeah. and uh Karen I was kind of curious like what is the um like it, it must be um, very difficult just to really like film and capture all these amazing kind of stunts. It is was that a particular challenge, um, it, like that aspect of of the filmmaking process? Uh, uh, specifically, the hardest things for me because um, I've done stunts before as a as a horror and action. Like I've I've, I've done those, but I've never done a full on cheer routine. Mm -hmm. So the, the beginning and end cheer routines were like beyond anything that I'd ever like, even thought of. And um, designing basically the that combination of stunt and and dance and cheer and you know all of that that was something that was thank God for Tony Gonzalez. We were literally like uh, I remember actually like Carrie's calls, I was calling him from the time I got hired. Like, Tony, what move can I actually do here? You know what I mean? Like, the, I because I also don't have a cheer background. I am a marching band geek. So that was not, um, I think cheerleaders would have beat me up back in back in high school days. But um, I definitely, uh, it was a learning curve on, on that level. And so those were definitely the hardest parts for me. And I'm really glad that um, the that end sequence is basically uh, me, our DP and uh, first AD, all with our cell phones and iPads, basically filming behind because I really wanted to show people what was happening. And so it was such a three weeks of them working their butts off. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, and I, I love that that was included because I mean, it, I, it's just when you're watching it, you don't necessarily, unless you were actually there making it, you don't really appreciate, I think like that hard work and energy and just like, it, it is mind boggling. <laughs> Absolutely. And so they obviously, because they work so hard, it made the actual filming of the sequences easier because, of course, all the stunts had to be so well choreographed so that no one would get injured and so that it would look believable. Like everything has to work. And everyone like we had stunt, uh, we had our stunt uh, coordinator and we had stunt people, but so many of those were done by the actual actors. And so, you know, the, you're, you're, you guys actually pulled it out like it's amazing. And um, Carrie, I was kind of curious, prior to this, are, were you a horror movie fan? Absolutely. Um, October is my season. 
uh if yeah. I, I love halloween <laughs> I, I could celebrate it all year round. Let me tell you, this is my month. Um, yeah, I love horror films. I I just, and I love acting in them because I love the the universe of controlled fear. Mm. Like, and that's what I, I feel like it is. And I, I just, I just love it. I love being scared. <laughs> yeah, and it, it just seems like that would be just, um, such a fun thing to do, especially uh, again, going into it, being such a big fan. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, now, um, so what uh, uh, drew you, uh, I guess this question for you both, what, what kind of drew you to this project? Well, for me, it was the first chance, uh, you know, because I, I do work in horror, but, but I've never worked in PG-13 horror and not for a franchise like this. And so it was definitely pushing me out of my comfort zone. So it seems really odd to say, like, you think of comfort zone as going really extreme. For me, it was like, <laughs> The comfort zone of doing something that was actually for a different audience base that I'm that I'm used to that actually had such an iconic status was um, actually terrifying. So once I actually found out, once I actually found out basically how much the Bring It On franchise meant to its fans, that's when I got scared. So, <laughs> um, I think Bring It On is so iconic, and I think so many people could say the same. But also on the aspect of it being a horror film which is like my fave, as we, you know, um, I was like, this is iconic in itself because of it was like the first, it's the first of the franchise. And I think that really makes a statement and I'm excited to be a part of it. Um, great. And just wrapping up um, this questions for both of you, uh, of you of what, what are y'all working on uh, right now? Is there anything like upcoming projects you can talk about? I'm back in writing. I'm back in the writing suite. So, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I'm nothing I can talk about it at this moment. But hopefully, a mini series, a little dystopic, and uh, adult horror. So nice. Yeah, um, I read like I have a movie that's on Creator Plus called Jane, and it's kind of like a psychological thriller. Um, and yeah, for right now, yeah. And there's just something else coming out for like Halloween, but you know, it, it will be promoted eventually. Nice. Uh, and, and Carrie, uh, are you also working on more music? I know um, you also are a singer, right? Yeah, I am a singer. Um, yeah, right now I've just kind of been like focusing on on the acting, but every once in a while I definitely do. I do write some things, but it hasn't taken the action to like make it into a song quite yet. But yeah, thank you for asking. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it it's uh, great because I actually did get to check out some of your music and I, I loved it. And uh, I subscribed to your uh, channel, so. Thank you, thank <laughs> you so much. Yeah, wow. absolutely. Um, gosh, thank you so much. Um, I, I think uh, all of, like everybody watching this should definitely check out um, Bring It On, Cheer, or Die. It, it premieres um, October 8th at uh, 9 p.m. on Sci-Fi Channel. And it is really awesome. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs> all right well thank <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you so much thank you right. Bye. see ya